Hey everybody, this will be my review of the game Days Gone. The only trophy I have left to get is damage your bike and then repair it with a hundred scrap. Which I'm actually gonna get alone, guys. I think the hardest trophy was probably Burnout Apocalypse, where you gotta drift and use the nitrous for five seconds. Because you can just. Damn it. I don't have space for it. That was my issue. I didn't have enough fucking space for it. Let me find it. This may not for the radar. Because you can do it like this. Just do donuts. To get the. Because you gotta do it for 10 minutes of drifting total. You can do that pretty easily. You can just spin in a circle for 10 minutes. Like that. If you go to the camp where you and Boozer stayed at, the Firewatch Tower, it's super easy. You can do that burnout in the Watchtower, right next to a gas station. That's in the, what do you call it, the Firewatch Tower, so you don't even get attacked. You sit there, stand like, oh, almost out of gas, fill up. Oh no, almost out of gas, fill up. But to do the one with the nitrous, you need a wide open area. And that's where the farm came in. I was at the farm. Let's go ahead. Farm is a pretty nice flat level area with a bunch of corn. Nothing for you to hit. Finally got that one. So now I just need to damage the bike a bunch and then a pair of scrap metal. Which means I need to find scrap metal. And nope, already open, damn it. Anyways, on to the review. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you. You too. Days Gone. Amazing game. I know, it's it's another zombie game. Yeah, well, when a game is done right, a game is done right. And this game is definitely done right. The progress you have to make. So not from, oh no, there's three zombies. I'm fucked. To, Alright, there's a horde of only 30? A horde of only 30. I'm not even going to bust out the multis. I'm just using napalm. I mean, I'm... Ugh. I'm not even gonna bust out the napalm, I'm only gonna use the multiles. No point in wasting the napalm on only 30. And then the storyline for it is not about the apocalypse, it's about finding your wife. Finding your old lady. Mm. Holy shit, you live. And that is done very well just by, oh yeah, here's the beginning, oh she died, sad face. Wait a minute, there's a chance she might be alive. Nope, dead. Wait a minute, there's a chance she might be alive. Wait, nope, she's dead. Wait a minute, there's a chance she might actually be alive. And then the holy shit, this time they're right. But she also might still be dead. Ah. <laughs> uh. Like, the fact that they tease you multiple times with that, I thought was actually pretty good. Because, I mean, a lot of games would either very A, tease it once, alright, nope, she's alive. Or, tease it once, nope, she's actually dead, fuck you. So, the fact that she's actually dead at the beginning, and then, nope, multiple times, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. No, she's not alive, she's dead. Just be like, no, actually, she's alive, yay! I thought it was pretty good of them. Next. Actual gameplay mechanics. Fantastic. Fuck you. Fuck you. Guys, see hitting that metal part was just... Ah. Uh, the sound quality in this game is fantastic. 
I need these. The gathering mechanics for materials, whether to use to make stuff or to sell at camps to get credits and trust. And one thing that was kind of annoying, but it makes sense. Like in game, like game wise, it makes perfect sense. It's brilliant. Is that credits from camp to camp don't transfer? You're level two trust at this camp with thirty thousand credit. Great. This camp. <laughs> you have no trust and you have no credit. And of course, it's not just the freakers. Technically, they're not zombies. They're not undead. They are alive. They're more uh, rage zombies from 28 Days Later than they are George A. Romero undead zombies. But you have them. And of course, you have humans. But not just humans you have rippers or cults you have just random marauders every now and then to jump out and attack you you have ambush camps where they're set up along roads to ambush people obviously you have the militia you have uh just random people driving around on motorcycles that'll attack you and then you have the wildlife the deer run away but the wolves the bears i should probably get back to camp so i can fuel up but yeah the bears and the mountain lions, they will attack. So they won't just attack you, they'll attack the zombies, and the zombies will attack them. And among the zombies, and I know I keep on zombies, just go with it. Among the zombies, you have the guys I just passed. Then you have smaller, more nimble newts. Because uh, it was explained in game that the virus, whoever it mutated under. Like, if they kind of hit puberty, you die. If you're over the age of 60 you die because your body couldn't handle the transformation from the virus. Those who are younger, Good to see you, Deke. but, you know, hey, not pre-beauty. Like, they hit puberty, but they weren't very old. I can fill your bike up. Probably need it. Yes, I do. I'm here if you need me, man. They became smaller, faster, more nimble, able to climb shit. They're really fucking annoying, but they're also really weak. Usually shoot them once or twice with a pistol, even if it's not a headshot, they die. That's another thing. Since they are the not game. undead, you don't actually have to shoot them in the head. I have to shoot them in the head. Works better, but you don't have to. And then you have breakers. What the fuck's a breaker? Glad you asked. In game explanation. They're. Think of the big show, just more muscle. It's like, okay, that's weird that you have just random zombies that are like that. But. It makes sense, game-wise, that since it mutates people, not undead, but just mutates a person, there's not some people have higher levels of testosterone. Whether they were muscle builders that were taking testosterone or steroids, or they're just someone with naturally high testosterone levels that affected testosterone levels and turn them into these just giant bruisers. Those guys are amazing to watch. Not scripted. Just walking around. Oh, hey, there's one and it's attacking zombies. It grabs one by the skull, picks it up, and then slams it skull first into the ground. Like, it wasn't a scripted event. Okay, the breakers, they attack everything. Zombies, people, animals, they kill and attack everything. They're beasts. You don't really want to fuck with them because they will kill you quickly. Unless you get the 50 BMG, which is that. And, oh, speaking of, a variety of weapons. Do you want machine gun? Do you want shotgun? Do you want pistol? Do you want sniper? And then, all right, well, this shotgun does more damage, but doesn't fire very fast. This shotgun fires faster, but not as much damage. Ow. I meant to do that. Or do you go with a machine gun where, yeah, you get to fire a bunch of bullets, but they don't do as much damage. But they also have better range. The same with the pistols. Like, oh, do you want the M9 auto Uzi thing? Or do you want the pistol that, you know, fires one shot, but you can actually kind of aim, wait for the circle to get smaller, so you can shoot him in the head and go for a one-hit kill. Yeah, sniping with a pistol is kind of hard, but you can do it. God, I need more scrap metal. 
And then, it's not like, alright, I came to this camp, I now have this gun. It's, I came to this camp. I have no trust in this camp. They'll sell me... No, they'll sell me more bullets. They'll sell me the basic equipment. But... Basic equipment ain't gonna cut it in this game. So, you do missions for them. You clear out whores from them. You turn in, uh, bounties. Whether it be the zombie ears, or you turn in meat, or you turn in plant life. That you find along the way. Basically, that, get level 1, level 2, then level 3 trust. And getting trust is important, because it's not just better weapons and equipment, but also upgrades for said guns and equipment. And then, at the end, if you have level 3 trust in all the camps, you get a special cutscene. It doesn't really affect the game that much. It's not like, oh, you got a different ending because you get level 3, but you get a couple extra cutscenes. And the story in this game is just fantastic. Again, I already mentioned the Sarah thing, but also... Alright, you meet Lisa. She was surviving in town, hiding from the zombies for the longest time. When one of the camps saw her, I was like, Hey, this girl's living out in this small town. Somehow she's still alive, but uh, can you go get her and bring her back to camp? So we can try to keep her safe? Obviously, every person we can save is a person that, you know, gets to survive and can help out, whether it's the farm camp, where obviously they're farming, or the fishing and hunting camp. So I separate them. But, mind you, the camps don't really work together. So I think it's kind of stupid, but, again, that leads to the, you know, separate credits, separate trust. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, also... You get, like, the Nero sites. What is that? There's a checkpoint where, like, all right, cars are coming through. All right, you infected? No. Okay, you can go through. You infected? No, you can go through. Oh, you're infected. Bam. Pull the car out of the way. But, uh, they have generators. You get gas in the generators. Turn on the power. But first, you gotta take out the speakers. If you don't take out the speakers, you're kind of boned. Because then it attracts all the zombies. And, uh, let's see. Where's the near camp? There's a near camp near here. Oh, duh. I was just right at it. The sawmill has a horde in it. Probably the largest horde in the game. When I, when I killed every single zombie there, there was over 400 ears when I was done. Which means there was over 400 zombies. Not worried, because I do have to damage the bike. So I can put more scrap on it, but... And the motorcycle. Oh, the motorcycle makes this game so much fun. Because instead of having to transverse this giant ass map, look at all that. I traverse the whole fucking map on foot. You don't have to. You got a motorcycle. Much faster. See, there's no scrap metal that can't. Okay, so he's not letting me set a marker on that. Oop, we're blocked. Oh, uh, some of the ambush guys. They'll put a wire across the road. Like, there'll be two cars next to the road, and they'll have a wire stretch across it. No, you're just driving along, not paying any attention. Bam, you get close on by that shit. Nice your bike, they attack you. Oh, scrap metal, damn it. Like, you can get, you can get fucked up real quick like that. But, also, let's say you find a marauder camp. There's 12 guys in there. You're shooting, they're shooting back. All of a sudden, huh, what's that noise? Oh, it's a horde. You will attract zombies with gunshots. So, you know, you set up, no, it's you versus 12 marauders. All of a sudden, oh, shit, I need to hide. This is dope. Especially early on. There's no 30, 40 marauders. I mean, 30, 40 zombies running around. Killing the marauders for you. It's like, hey, great. But they see me. They're going to kill me, too. So, I better fucking hide. Gunpowder. And then this one. Oh, 
gun locker. Where you can store your guns. Like right now I'm using the Chicago Choppa. But you can see, you know, it's stats. Because for the longest time I was using this one. Which, more damage. But accuracy, rate of fire, way down. More stopping power. But holds well, 20 rounds versus 80 rounds. And let's see, here's a gun I unlocked from completing missions. Now uh, that plus symbol means you got to upgrade for it. Well, uh, it has no 80 plus, but then that one says so it's 10. That one says so 20, but with the symbol next to it mean I got the upgrade for it. Oh, that's the... I, I want... Just look at that. Way better. Ah, oh, the mayor. The shotgun revolver. It, it's it's a Taurus Judge. That's that's what the gun in the real life is called. It's, it's a Taurus Judge. I own one. It's a handgun that shoots shotgun shells that we don't have to aim. But, oh, that's great, but it only holds six rounds. And accuracy is lower, and rate of fire is way lower, and penetration is way down. But more damage is stopping power. Oh, wait, and that's special. Crossbow. Drift the crossbow. The C8 rifle. Your first sniper rifle. Pretty good. Also pretty good. Way fucking better. I was like, why would you go with that? Well, that is so much better. It's like, well, if you get the upgrade for it, you probably hold more rounds. It's like, alright, rapid fire, no reloading between shots. There's a great choice for frantic combat encounters. It has a large clip size. But that's better because I haven't upgraded. But you get that upgraded, but it still does less damage and stopping power. So fuck that. But also, ooh, I don't even want to know, but... You find these boxes. Inside is a Nero injector. You can either increase your health, your stamina, or your focus, which is, uh, let's see, focus. Press R3 while aiming, and it slows down time. So you have more time to aim and shoot. It can be a huge lifesaver, especially when you're taking on hordes. Oh, and you need Molotovs to burn out nests. Nests is where they sleep during the day. For some reason, trucks never have scrap metal. Only cars. And if the hood's popped open like that, there's nothing in it. Pretty sure I've already rated this a dozen times. Cat cars are usually good because, well, not that one because you can't get to the trunk, but... Get the trunk open, they have bullets inside. That is the Reacher. Pretty late game zombie. But they're fucking beasts. Unless you headshot them. But they're faster, stronger, more durable, can climb. They can climb like a newt, hit like a breaker, and look like a freaker. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's no scrap metal for a thousand miles. I mean, yeah, I know I've been looting all the scrap metal lately, but still. Give me some scrap metal. Survival vision. Highlights things. What was that? Eh. Fuck those. Oh, you also get a crafting plan so you can make better weapons. I've just been going with that. That I found. Then I repair when I need to. Mountain, mountain lion. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Well, mountain lions are leader in the game. They're not as dangerous as the bears. Because the bears have a lot more hits. This. But the mountain lions, I guess, are sorry, cougars, <laughs> ladies. They're faster, more agile. So they can be annoying if they catch you by surprise. When you catch them by surprise, it's fucking easy as shit. Kerosene for napalm. And Molotovs. Scrap metal, yeah. Oh shit, there's a horde. Alright, fuck it, let's watch. Let's make one of these. 
should do it. Let's watch some fun. Tractor bomb. Is it fun? And you can make pipe bombs, but you can buy frag grenades, so always use those first. Attracting the horde. Up here they come. And all that is bust out Molotov just for shit they just. And they are smart enough to run to run around them. Ow. Standing too close. Oh, let's bust out more napalm. Yeah, it wasn't close enough to the horde. There we go, now we got some triggers on fire. Reload and get ready for the shit show. Alright, we don't have to. Do we? Not very many left. But that was a large horde, probably going to be collecting over 100 years. Man, early on in the game, I'm dealing with this shit. Gah. Three or four zombies will fuck you up. Now that I'm later. Okay, what the fuck? What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. Why am I not attracting the horde? Like, I've had a horse chase me for miles. Like, I'm on the motorcycle running from them, they're chasing after me for miles. Now I can't get them to come after me. I'm blowing them up. Stand still.
and as you play through, we'll start on skills. You unlock skills for melee, ranged, survival. Like before, you couldn't run and reload at the same time until you get that skill unlocked. Great skill to have. Because you will need to run away, run away. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, like you'll find a uh, graveside, uh, roadside graves. I was like, oh, that's a child's grave. Great. Way to hit me right in the fucking fields. It's like they'll have their favorite toys and a picture that they drew. And it's like, god damn. Way to hit you right in the fucking fields. that I can see the edges on the screen where the fuck are they this would have been marauders marauder group came across a horde did not go well for them God, this game was so much fun I was like, oh, you beat the game? There's still more to do. There's still more storylines to complete. There's still new stuff to unlock. There's still new things to see. And when you do she beat the game, in. the map unlocks where all the hordes are. See, I've almost completed it. Where the fuck's the last horde? The last zombie. Because you got to kill every single fucking one of them. You miss even one of them. Doesn't count as killing them. Fuck it is. <laughs> God, the background music is gonna be creepy as shit. <laughs> there you are. Got it. Beaver Marsh rest stop horde. I'm already at full of trust, so that doesn't really matter, but I got 300 credits, and I'm not over half of all hordes killed. Then, if we get back to the bike, I'll probably show you my favorite upgrade in the game. Being able to repair shit, great! Being able to make napalm and molotovs and pipe bombs, sure, that's, that's nice. 
but best upgrade in the game. Well, besides stamina boost. Holy shit, do you need those? I can't leave my bike all the way back there. Oh, well, actually, fuck it, I'll just get more bullets from here. Falling scrap. Oh, I am falling scrap. I got 20 scrap. Nice. So I just need to damage the bike some more and repair it and get even closer to the 100 uses of scrap metal on your bike to repair it. Here we're good now. That's nothing. Like, I wasn't looking for that horde. I just stumbled across it, and you will do that a lot in this game. You just stumble across a marauder camp, you just stumble across a horde, you just stumble across a breaker killing everything. That's a screamer. You don't want to fuck with those. When they scream, if you're on your bike and you're too close to them, it'll knock you off your bike. Reload from my bike fully. 24 submachine guns, 6 sniper bullets, 18 pistol ammo. I am now back to having full ammo. I need to damage the bike. Son of a bitch! Like that. Or. Like that. Where'd it go? <laughs> All right, pick her up. I can fix this. That should do it. And I have an upgrade where it takes half as much scrap metal to repair, which is great, unless, you know, you're trying to, you know, as much as possible. Let's see, we'll use a bandage. And then we'll craft, and then we'll pick up sterilizer. And you'll come across so many different camps and areas. And it's like, oh, hey, there's these two small tents with some sleeping bags and a small fire. And then there's blood everywhere. Like, okay, we know what happened here. See, what else is there? Just, God, there's so much to do. So much to see. So much wrong with taking the back street. You never know if you don't go. Never shine if you don't go. Find all those, I think. Where they got the plaques. You read the plaques. You collect the thing for it. Let's see. Where to go now? Huh. Let's go take that. I was not paying attention. That was not on purpose. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, not upset because I'm trying to use up scrap metal on it, but not exactly what I meant to do. And it's daytime. So instead of the horde being out and about, I want to go. They'll be in a cave hiding from the light because they do not like the light. Every now and then you find one of these, so you can go over here. Fill her up. So instead of doing this, my, my normal style of review, it's like, no, I'm going to play the game, show everything off that I can, and as long as I wasn't planning on, like, taking out a horde. Well, I need a road horde. 
So you're usually looking for a cave. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, fuck me, I can hear him in there. Place another proximity mine, or maybe through the grenade a little bit faster. Oh. Anarchists. Oh, that's another group of humans you got to deal with. Anarchists. Fuck them. But they put up those stones. Why I don't know, but they do. Now we can reload. And so, just like that. Now the Frigo Horror taken care of. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, shit. I could have been down there and just thrown Molotovs into here. That would have been nasty. Stuck. <laughs> oh, what the? Bear. And it was not even a bear; it's a rager. Okay, it's... A rager is an infected bear. You have infected wolves. You have infected bears. I've not seen infected mountain lions. Or cougars, I'm sorry. <coughs> Fuck you. Stuck on a pole. Ah. Fuck you. Oh shit, how about we just fast travel back to a camp? 
Let's go turn in some ears. See how many I get. Holy shit, this has been going on for over 40 minutes. Also, yeah, I just gotta say, if you want a great game, this is it. If you want a game that take... I mean, although I do... I try to do as much as possible, so if you just play the game as fast as possible, you can probably beat it in under 40 hours. But if you're like me, it took me 60 hours to beat the game. And there was still more to do. Like, game-wise, it was B. But then you get the secret ending. There's multiple endings, but you have secret him. ending. Let him in. But you gotta keep playing to find that out. I wonder about the players sometimes, you know? Like, Bounty. Ah, Deacon St. John. 427 years. Nice. Nice. Good haul. That's it. A lot of money. And would be a lot of trust, but I'm already maxed out. Right? Deacon. Good to see you. For some reason, it's always cheaper to just come here, Blair. raid that. Then it is come here. Whatever you need, and I got it. Buy bullets. Eight hundred to fill up, while the sniper alone would have been probably worth a thousand. Yep. Make a frag grenade. Uh, good choice. Yeah, good. And like the frags, and those you couldn't buy until you had trust three. You couldn't buy that until you had trust three. Those you can get at trust one. And then weapons, trust one. That was probably trust two. That was definitely trust three. That was trust three. These were trust two. This is trust three. Look at that damage. Holy shit. A little less range. Wait, well, actually, like, this is what I was using for the longest time. Well, that's better, but this has more rounds and fires faster. All right. Deke, take care now. And why not? Let's get some gas. I don't need that much, but I have plenty of money to burn. You need to buy something? Buzz. Oh, duh. You know, like, oh, you got level one trust, you get that level two, level three. So you go faster. No reduction, so I don't hear you coming. This bullet storage. God, is that amazing. More gas. Durability. And yes, that is uh, the check baby. Back later, I guess. I'll fill her up. I'll be here. And yes, I do have the baby from Death Stranding. One of the skins I was able to get. Easily new. I'm here if you need me, man. Yeah. I was in my classroom when. You know. I got it. Stay safe out there. Oh fuck! That's the other thing. The NPCs. Stay-at-home moms and high school dropouts. Anyway, uh. We heard all this screaming. Thought it was a shooting at first, but it was freaks. A lot of freaks. Freakers. They came tearing through like, a, like it was a riot or something. I saw Karen, other teachers, trying to block their doors. I ran. And the next few days were a blur. No idea how I made it up here. Yeah, you can just listen in on their conversations. The one was like, oh, should I have to go to this antique store slash bookstore? And my old lady had all of her little kitties. I was like, I didn't always smell the best because of the kids and old women smell. But this is a great place to find books, a great place to sit down and read and nice and quiet. And then the freak attack starts happening. So I went there to go check on her, and yeah, it was a mess. Because it will not, because as we see, we just saw the rager, the infected bear. It will infect animals, like cats. So yeah, the little lady was being ripped to shreds by her cats. It's like, oh, fucking hell. Good question mark. Eh, I mean, early on, a lot of the times it was, there's someone trapped in the car while being attacked. Is that a bear or a breaker? That's a breaker. So, ooh, actually, I wonder if I can hit it towards uh, zombies. 
Because like I said, the breakers will attack anything. It's not even. It's a reacher. It's a reacher. Oh, I'm bone. Breaker and a reacher. And he's for some reason focus on me instead. Headshot, headshot. There we go. Fuck that guy. Oh, fucking hell. Where'd the breaker go? Yes. You can do it just right and get it. Fuck you. I have no idea where the breaker went. God, that was just a regular freaker, but it was a reacher. Rest up. Here's some goodies to find around here. Like scrap metal. Give me that scrap. And I just never realized I'm almost dead. Open says me. more scrap in there. So let's damage my bike real quick. <laughs> yep, intentionally running into a rock. I can fix this. That should do it. I have no idea how many more scraps. There it is! The order bike repair. Got it! One percenter, baby. And with that, I now have platinum. And really, the only thing left in the game for me to do is take out the freaker hordes. Which, yeah, there's a few. Cleared all of them out in this area because you can see, like, Kevin Jobs has got a six, Nero checkpoints three out of three, two out of two, three out of three, hordes eight out of eight. Somehow I missed some of the Nero ints on, I don't know how. But let's see, in this one, I've taken out one out of six hordes. Ouch. In this area, I've taken out. Huh, no. No hordes? What about that? Oh, there's that. No, that counts as this area. Okay. Then down here, Crystal Crater Lake. Horse, three out of three. Highway 97, the worst. Highway 97 is the worst because it comes in from California. Like, California. And they all come streaming up the highway. Basically, I've taken out four out of 13 hordes. God. So fucking good. Quick save. Well, that guys, I'm gonna call it a video. I'm gonna call it a review. I gotta say, if you have the chance, get this game. I think it's also out on PC. Oh man, I cannot imagine what PC would be like with the mods. Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. But with that, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.